Hi guys and welcome back to another video now today and what I'm going to bring you is a Bradford City versus Scunthorpe United match preview now just before we get into today's video if you could drop a like on it can we try and hit 30 likes on today's video that would be massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well we are now on the road to 5,000 subscribers so if you could subscribe that would be massively massively appreciated don't forget as well to turn your post notification bell on so you never miss a video of when I upload but today we are going to be previewing the penultimate game of Bradford City season it obviously got confirmed on Tuesday it was mathematically impossible for us to reach the playoffs so it's another season in League 2 next year fingers crossed that is with fans though there's some decent away days in there hopefully the likes of you know Tranmere and Morecambe but on a selfish point of view hopefully they can stay down because they're some of the, the better away days hopefully someone like a Salford can go up because you know it's a bit of a dead away day let's be honest and that's all I really care about as I said, today we're going to be previewing again, uh, the match against Scunthorpe, which we are playing on Saturday. We currently sit then at 14th in the Skybet League 2 table. After 44 games, we've now got 16 wins, 10 draws, 18 defeats, 48 goals scored, 51 goals conceded, leaving us on a minus 3 goal difference and 58 points. Our last couple of games then being a loss, a loss, a loss, a loss and a loss. That then compared to Scunthorpe United, they're also currently sitting down in 22nd now in the Skybet League 2 table. They're only one place above the relegation zone, but they are 6 points above Southend United with only two games to go so it's looking likely Southend will be joining Grimsby and getting relegated but if a miracle happens and Southend win both their games Scunthorpe get hammered in both their games then Southend could potentially stay up and Scunthorpe could get relegated down to uh, the National League which I wouldn't really like to see I'd much rather be going to Scunthorpe away than Southend away I would like to see Grimsby stay up and someone like a Colchester or a Barrow go down in terms of an, an away day point of view but anyway as I said Scunthorpe they're in 22nd in the Skybet League 2 table after 44 games got 13 wins, 8 draws, 23 defeats, scoring 41 but scoring 41 goals but also conceding 63 leaving them on a minus 22 goal difference and 47 points their last couple of games and also have been a loss, a loss, a loss, a loss and a loss. Them last couple of games then been a 4-0 hammering away at Newport County, a 2-0 loss at home to Walsall, a 3-0 battering away to Mansfield, a 3-2 defeat away to Forest Green, a 4-1 hammering at the hands of Markham away from home, and then their last win was quite a while ago. <laughs> their last win was ironically against us when they beat us 2-0 on the 23rd of match. I think they've only got one win in like 16 or something like that. Their last win before that was on the 2nd of March. They've played 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, so they've got like one win in 15, 14 games, something like that. And that was obviously against us in the reverse fixture. They beat us 2-0. We were terrible on that day. We were just, yeah, and just not up to it. And obviously, that's kind of been the tail of our season in the past couple of weeks we did so well to get so close to the playoffs I think we were one or two points of it at some point Callum Cook got injured and it all seemed to just go downhill from there it's looking likely that Ollie Crankshaw and Billy Clark will be back fit for this game which I guess is a slight bonus um, hopefully you know Crankshaw's recovered because I believe he had some sort of breathing problems I think he's got asthma and they're having some breathing problems against Portville so hopefully that's nothing too serious because obviously that can be a bit of a serious subject but this game is the battle of 23rd versus 24th in the past five games in terms of a form table. I think they're 24th, we're 23rd. They've got like a minus 11 goal difference or something like that in their last five games. As in, as uh, as bad, we're not conceding too many goals, but we're also not scoring at all. We obviously lost on Tuesday night to an offside goal, but once again, I, I mean, I didn't watch the game, but I'll, we'll also be streaming this game. We'll be live on YouTube at around 2.50, so make sure you come tune in for that. Uh, get your score predictions down in the comments below in terms of the score prediction from my point of view I'm gonna go with I think we will probably get the win now that it's meaningless and the pressure really is kind of off I think we will get the win um, it obviously depends on the team though if they're gonna be starting Billy Clark and Gareth Evans instead of you know Vernon and Crankshaw I know Vernon and Crankshaw not really been as good but let's be honest anything is better than Gareth Evans and Billy Clark on the wing so in terms of a score prediction I'm gonna go with a 2-1 to City I'm gonna go with Lee Novak and Levi Sutton to get the goals for the Bantams and then for Scunthorpe uh, I think they've got a few injuries I think Ryan Loft's out injured and I can't remember the other player but he's out injured until the end of the season I'm going to go with former Bantam Alex Gilead it seems like we have done a match preview against Scunthorpe so many times this season with the amount of times it's been cancelled in the reverse fixture I think this is either the third or fourth time that I've done a match preview this season um, in, in, in the league as well I know we've played all of them quite a lot so far this season we've played them in like every competition apart from the, the AFL Cup I think 
Um, but yeah, as I said, score prediction, I'm going to go with 2-1. Get your score predictions in down in the comments below. Um, I think maybe doing a vlog for the final game of the season. I might buy iFollow just to, you know, send the boys off with a, probably a loss, let's be honest. We're playing Morecambe, they're chasing the playoffs, so, you know, they're a very, very solid side, but imagine how good it would have been if fans were allowed in. You know, last season away at Morecambe, it was absolute chaos in the away end. Hopefully, if Morecambe do stay down, we can have another decent little away day there, but that's all I've really spoken about in today's video. It's just a weird is because, let's be honest, the season, it, it, well, it is actually over now, and, you know, I'm just kind of... Not really forcing the content out, but it's kind of just like I don't really care about the games now because they're just meaningless. It's like when we got relegated, once we've been relegated, them final few games, they just didn't really mean anything. And it's just kind of like, if, even if we score, I'm a bit like, oh, well, it, it doesn't mean... That it, it, is, it does feel a bit like a friendly or like a training session now that we're playing teams because, you know, obviously players, they're playing for the contracts for next season. So it'll be interesting to see who stays, who goes. I'll be making my thoughts on my sort of retain list sort of thing in the next uh, couple of weeks. I don't actually know when the full return list comes out i think it'll be this you know it might be after the morecambe game i don't i genuinely don't know when it'll be coming out but hopefully i'll get my video out before that comes out to be a bit awkward if i upload my video after the return list has come out but that's where i'm going to leave today's video short and sweet today not too much to talk about as i said i'm going to go with two one to bradford get your score predictions in down in the comments below if you have enjoyed today's video if you could drop a like on it as i said at the start of the video if you could hit 30 likes on today's video that would be massively massively appreciated subscribe if you are new as well have a great rest of your day make sure to follow me around on twitch link is down in the description below come over there and drop me a follow you know football manager fifa house flipper we're doing all sorts of games over there you can even see a bit of fortnite gta we're literally doing so many games over there so make sure you're coming over and dropping me a follow it's free to do so and it does massively massively help out have a great rest of your day everyone and i'll see you on the next video peace